please do allow them some space because the keepers will be throwing in some laundry and vomit the things blood that may splatter on your on your clothes. All right, here at Singapore Zoo, we have a total of two white tigers. Our male Omar, which is the biggest of the lot, and his two sisters, Titi and Lily. All three of them were born born in Gopher Sakhar, Indonesia, on the 27th of September, in the year 1999. And they were only brought here to the Singapore Zoo in April of 2001. Their father goes by the name of Mango, whereas their mother was named Sri Kandi, a name which means Lady Warrior. There were once different subspecies of tigers. Sadly, two subspecies, which are the Javan, Caspian, and the Balinese, are now extinct, leaving only six surviving subspecies. The foremost common subspecies is the Siberian, the Bengal, the Indian Chinese, and as well as the Malayan tiger. The Siberian tiger is the largest of all the apes, whereas a male Bengal tiger, just like Omar, can stand up, up to one meter tall at the shoulders and weighs almost 170 kilograms. The Bengal tigers are also the only subspecies of tigers known to have the genes in them to turn into white. A lot of people might think that they are albino tigers. However, albino tigers would have no stripes and red eyes. But as you can see, these beautiful tigers still have prominent stripes, a pink nose, and if you look carefully, you have striking blue eyes. The diet of these tigers is strictly carnivorous. Do take note that folks, we are offering our tigers right now only a little snack. We do the that great for, for, the, for them, as Omar, Kitty, and Winnie can consume as much as 6 to 14 kilograms of meat each every other day. Their diet is a mixture of mutton, chicken, beef, and sometimes even pork. Now if you are wondering whether there are any white tigers in the wild, the answer is no. The last one white tiger, goes by the name of Mohan, was captured back in 1951 and was presented by Maharaja in India. Mohan died when he was about 20, the father of many cubs. In fact, Mohan happens to be the forefather of all white tigers. Today. One fact for you to know is that white tigers are the result of inbreeding. So thus, here in the Singapore Zoo, since all three of them are siblings, both GP and Winnie have been implanted by organizations to prevent further inbreeding. These white tigers are only brought into the Singapore Zoo for educational purposes. Before we display these beautiful white tigers, we display the Malayan tigers which are, have since moved to the, to the night safari. And since the night safari opened back in 1994, we have, we have had a very successful active breeding program for Malayan tigers, resulting in successful birth of 29 Malayan tiger cubs. Now, of course, you might want to listen up to this. About a hundred years ago, our world had more than a thousand tigers. Sadly, their numbers have greatly declined to 7,000. No growing for their tongue, so only about 3,500 left in the wild. Very much like the sun bears, the tigers have been known to kill for their commercial as well as medicinal reasons. In certain cultures, this wow. believe that the body part of the tiger could cure illnesses. However, these claims are not supported by any scientific research or proof. So if you are sick, please visit a doctor and refrain from buying any animal products in order to cure illnesses. And yet we've come to the end of our white tiger coping feeding. If you happen to have any further questions about the tigers, please approach our keepers for more information. Next will be the talking to for our picnic post. For those who are interested, just join us kindly and make your way to the left.
Thank you. 